Hello again and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is all about this build, okay, my uh, oak uh, epoxy resin wall art piece that I've been working on now for just over a month. Uh, the video itself is like kind of a bit of a tutorial thing, we're going to take you through the stages and the processes that I've done to create this. I am very, very happy with the outcome of it. Uh, I am not a artistically inclined person. I've got an artistic bone in my body. But I did take a little bit of inspiration of this from a trip to uh, Iceland. I went to uh, Reykjavik and, and, and the island about five years ago. I was fortunate enough to see the, uh, the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, so I kind of wanted to create something in that style using some resin effects, some tints and some LED uh, background lighting as well. Uh, please stick around for the video, I hope you enjoy it. I have got um, a request, or not a request, I need some help which I will deal with at the end of it and I'm sure there's uh, some more enlightened folk than myself out there who might be able to help me out with the question I've got at the end. Um, what I will do for this uh, tutorial video is in some of my previous resin projects People have been asking about costing and how much this, that and the other. So what I will actually do um, in the little pop-ups at the bottom through the video is I will cost how much it was to produce this, how much it cost myself to produce this. I won't do it with just, um, things like sanding pads or, or that kind of stuff because I think that will be a little bit unfair. But I will put in like the cost of the resin, the cost of the wood, uh, the cost of the polishing compound, uh, the LED background lights. plus. There is a link to all of the stuff I've used for this in the uh, description below. Uh, any questions or anything, please leave a comment in the comment section. Hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you think it's all right. If you don't, take care and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, we've reached the uh, resin pouring day. Um, the wood's all ready, prepped and ready to go. I've made the mould for the cast. Uh, just a couple of little bits and pieces I'd like to say before I get on with it. Um, it's glass cast 50. We're using, I'm going to be doing it over two pours. I'm going to pour a base layer of about two or three mil uh, and then press the wood into it. It's just in regards to actually a couple of comments in my last video in regards to where the wood meets the resin. Now what I'm going to do this time is uh, with the small 2 mil casting in and then I'm going to paint the edges of the wood which will hopefully form a seal with the resin allowing it to cure to the B stage before I apply the main pour. Uh, one last thing is because it's over two pours and the base colour is going to be green um, I'm going to put the green tint and pigment into the um, casting resin uh, before I mix the hardener in so it will give me the same colour over both pores and not worrying about getting the actual uh, colour mixing right so I'm going to pour the uh, casting resin into a uh, bowl and then add the tinting pigment before I mix it with the hardener hope that makes sense uh, let's see how we get on
Okay, uh, we're back in the workshop uh, after three days of the resin setting. Uh, two stages to go next. First, I'm just going to trim up the edges. Uh, I'm going to use my track saw for that. And then uh, a lot, a lot of uh, sanding and polishing. Uh, one thing it will do for me though, it will give me a chance to uh, really put through its paces my um, Mercaderos. It's the first premium tool I've ever purchased. I actually got it. Um, when I was at Maker Central and I've had it now for a, a couple of months I've just been using it on various projects I haven't done a review on it yet because I just wanted to really put it through its paces before I kind of give like a final like uh, analysis of what I think of it uh, first to say it's an incredible piece of kit so I'm just gonna get on with it um, I'm just marking up square I'm gonna tidy up the edges get on with the sanding and see how we get on
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think as you might have gathered from uh, my little intro bit, I am I'm so happy with the way this has turned out. It was a very time consuming process, but it was something I really enjoyed doing. I'm really happy with the finished product. Uh, the way it looks, the colour contrast, the wood effect. Uh, you, can't, you don't really get to appreciate the finish um, via the camera. I've tried to take some pictures, obviously you'll see them, you saw them in the tutorial, but it, I'm, I'm really happy with it. My question, or my piece of advice that I'm actually after, is in regards to wall mounting it. Uh, basically, how do I do it? Um, it's, it's heavy, it's just over 10 kilos. Uh, I did get something off Amazon, like a, a kit, uh, for wall, a wall mounting kit for heavy pitches that can take up to 17 kilos. The problem I've got with this is with it, this being translucent, you, you can see at the back and I kind of think that kind of thing would spoil the effect of it. Um, so I'm just wondering if anybody out there has any ideas on how can safely and um, effectively mount this on the wall uh, please leave a comment um, or all my contact details are also in the description if you think you might have some form of solution or some idea uh, I'd really appreciate any input you have okay hope you enjoyed it again take care and we'll see you again sometime thank you